in the world of astrology people think that saturn is the planet of karma but my question is that which planet you think is not the planet of karma every planet is the planet of karma every planet indicates karma that is the particular reason sages have clearly told that horoscope is a karmic map. i have told that horoscope is a map of karma whatever karmas one have done in past is indicated by the horoscope all the different yogas all the planets and everything indicates karma so not specifically one planet but every planet indicates karma and more than indicating what type of karma one have committed it indicates the fructification of karma right this is something that i have to be made very very clear horoscope indicates how the karma will fructify in life if you want to find what is the karma that you can also do through the horoscope but that is a you know that is not clearly indicated from the horoscope for that you have to do some back calculation so for example say a planet situated in a particular house is giving a result you are going to get that result only because of your karma only that planet is saturn or any other planet that does not matter at all so it indicates how the karma is going to manifest and it is told in scriptures that karma can find the doer as a calf can find the mother cow in a herd of cows so from this karma no one can escape that is very certain no two thoughts about it in this particular setup one more thing is there that essentially this karma should not be from, from the past life only or from one life only this karma these karmas that are indicated the karma whose results are indicated that you will have to go through in this life will be multiple karmas from multiple different lives this is something that you have to be very clear about now the result of this karma is indicated in your natal chart <clears throat> birth horoscope this is kriyaman karma and the result of the same you will be having throughout your life the manifestation will be according to dasha antar dasha but after you are born you are free to do any other karma also right we do karma every day so because you are free to do karma and you will do karmas also and these karmas will also bear the result some of which you will enjoy in this life only some of which you will enjoy in the next life now this is called kriyaman karma and by the way of this kriyaman karma either you can enhance the result of the past life karma prarabdha karma or you can decrease the result of past life karma prarabdha karma you can increase or decrease both good karma and bad karma if you do good karma then the result of good karma is increase bad karma is decrease if you do bad karma then the result of bad karma is increase good karma decrease that that is the basic point this is the setup how it works now my particular thing in this karmic connection is karmic correction is that because you are free to do the kriyaman karma why not do that type of karma which enhances the good karma and reduces the bad karma because by your free will right following this karma correction series you will be as per your free will you will be doing those karmas which are supportive to enjoyment which are supportive to the good result of good karmas and which will keep bad karmas away or you see the suffering from the bad karma will be significantly less that this is the purpose you do this type of karma which enhances the enjoyment and reduces the suffering right that is the basic point behind this thing and one more important thing is that i have specifically chosen the type of remedies based on the results that the planet are supposed to give in these houses so you see if in a particular house for example say saturn is our topic for today if there is saturn in ascendant then one can be very orthodox and because of this orthodoxy one can take decisions which may not be very good for the native so the first thing that you should do for saturn in the ascendant is that you should grow out of the box you should incorporate modern innovative thinking right and suitable changes to the traditional concepts should be done at least for yourself only then it will be good otherwise not in the same line you should also make your own path 
while dealing with people right while having opinion about things one should do this one should do that while advising people or while behaving in a society you have to take a non orthodox modern approach and in taking your own life decisions also you have to take non orthodox modern approach and this is not like that it should be modern only this should be found based on discrimination if the traditional point of view holds correct you should follow the traditional point of view if the modern point of view holds correct you should follow the modern point of view so it depends on what is holding correct you should follow that path but blindly following orthodoxy or orthodox thought that is generally the result of saturn in the ascendant should be avoided secondarily one have to be very lively right because saturn in the ascendant may also give person a tendency of you know like living in melancholy or you see like being separated from people being very much into themselves only right not sharing things with people this can be the nature when saturn comes into ascendant so to break that one have to be lively one should become a person in whose company others enjoy right so like as i have told you with these two examples in the same manner you can do other exam other examples also you can do a back story calculation regarding the result of saturn in different houses as well and as i have been doing i will be telling you the telling you the karmas karma that you should do to get the optimum result of saturn throughout the houses in the video the third thing is with saturn in the ascendant you should be you should not be unapproachable it's not like you should be easily available for everyone that's not the thing but at least connecting to you talking to you opening up in front of you should not be problematic for people should not be problematic means one can easily contact you one can easily spend time with you make arrangements for that point one and secondarily they should not be afraid that if they tell you something you will let other people know about it or you know you will judge them right this thing should not be there so these two things also you should do other than that one should with saturn in the ascendant one should avoid lures right one can be lured into competition show off and other such things we should be avoided self control over emotions thoughts words should be practiced and whenever possible with the best of your knowledge you should guide people in what they should do in this guiding you should keep in mind that you should talk about only those things that you really know about and don't tell your assumptions to people but only talk about experience and after properly thinking if there is saturn in the second house you should be careful about your words what you speak right what type of advice you give to people and all of these things try not to criticize people or talk bad about them specifically by the practice of meditation and having good company reading thoughtful books reading positive books you should also avoid negative thoughts and if possible for some hours or for one day a week you should practice silence also saturn in the second house you should always be truthful should always speak truth that will be very good for you don't purchase old property that if you have inherited some property then it is good but other than that an already built already constructed home should not be purchased always try to purchase a land and make property yourself over dependence on family will be problematic so try to be the one whom on whom the family is dependent on and don't depend on your family having much expectations from your family even expectations of love support is not going to be fulfilled as such so be careful about it another thing is you should wait for things to happen you should not be impatient and you see because many a times with saturn in the second house what may happen that one may not get the right opportunity or right option right the options in front of the native one may feel that these are you know like these are 
for example, job options. One may feel that this is not suitable according to my experience or the pay is not enough. So one should wait for the right option to come. One should not take bad decisions hastily, point one. Secondarily, in the matters of things such as profession, waiting too much can be problematic also. So leaving job, joining a new one, applying for a new one should be done with proper planning. That will be the best setup. Whenever possible, one should try to donate money to temples, priests, and anyone who is worthy of donation. If there is Saturn in third house, one should have a habit of writing. You can write on social media, you can write blogs or whatever, but have a habit of writing and write without prejudice. Generally writing to educate people, writing to, you know, give knowledge to society, writing to break dogmas is very good. Specifically with Saturn in the third house, one should try to promote those good people who do good work, but are not recognized, right? One should take people and their opinions to the society through their writing and other things that they can produce. That will be one of the greatest remedies. Along with that, with Saturn in the third house, one should try to maintain a good relationship with their siblings and whenever possible, gift something to your sibling, whatever you can easily gift that you should gift to your siblings. That your siblings should feel grateful of having you. Play outdoor games. Right? Before producing child, before having a child, be well prepared. Don't have a child until and unless you are financially secure, professionally secure and mentally matured. Otherwise, it will be problematic. While studying something or, you know, interacting with people, first of all, one should be discriminative with Saturn in the third house. You cannot follow everything. Everything cannot work for you. This is something that should be very, very clear in your mind. And a rigorous practice of studying at one hour every day, two hour every day, but with discipline should be in your life. That will be good. Specifically with Saturn in the third house, one should spend open heartedly and should not try to save money, should not be a miser. That will be good. With Saturn in the fourth house, the first thing you should do is you should have, you should have chastity and follow ethics and morals in relationships. Take care of your mother whenever possible, give her gifts. To your enemies, you should not give pain to your enemies. See, they are typical to you. You will do competition. You will do things to go above them. That is very good. But personal hurt or giving pain to enemies should be avoided. Professional rivalry as much as possible should be kept aside. A good routine of waking up early in the morning, sleeping uh, early in the night, right? Having a punctual, well-maintained life is also very necessary. And giving donations or doing things for diseased people and for hospitals will also be very good with Saturn in the fourth house. If Saturn is in fifth house, then in that particular scenario, once again, you should have children only after you have got financial, professional stability and have good mental maturity before that don't have children. Otherwise this Saturn will be permanently damaged and will give bad result. Do not give pain, trouble or other problems to people of opposite gender. Try to help them as much as possible. In relationships, one should maintain boundaries. Extramarital affairs and flirting, etc. is not at all good with Saturn in the fifth house. Right. And not only in relationships, even in not only in, you know, like spousal relationship, only even in professional relationships and all other type of relationships, one should maintain, you know, maintain their own limitations and should also tell others like one should have one personality to whom, for example, many a times what happened to your office colleagues, you are very friendly. You go to their home also, they come to your home also, and this good type of relationship is there. This is not suitable with Saturn in the fifth house. Right? If you are working in the same same office, then your work should be professional only. You should not become personal. So such boundaries you should draw and you should keep it in mind. Otherwise, it will be problematic. 
the expenditure of money should be done conservatively over spending is problematic never go into litigations with family members always try to settle things amicably and on few days you know engaging in sexual activities is prohibited amavasya purnima ashtami and on festivals right when there is a major festival dipavali etc engaging into sexuality is prohibited this should be taken care of if there is saturn in the fifth house saturn in the sixth house one should donate to diseased people and hospitals one can donate money one can donate medicine or one can serve them whatever is possible physical violence or physically beating someone should be avoided under all cost negative thinking and sadism should be avoided under all conditions and people who are weaker than you either financially or societally or whatever don't say bad words to them don't fight with them don't yell at them this is something that you have to keep in mind giving gifts and sometimes extra money tips etc to your servants right waiters etc in the restaurant is also very good if your friends are in misfortune or in difficult times helping them will also be very beneficial expenditure of money should be done carefully spending very extravagantly or spending money for competitions or to show off in the society is not very good specifically spending money on court cases fighting litigation should not be done at all have a cordial relationship with your siblings and do not abort child under any condition otherwise it will be very problematic and as i have told you before also if saturn is the lord of the sixth house or if saturn is aspecting the sixth house then also the same remedies if done it will take care of negative result of saturn that may be coming through house lordship or aspect whatever right with saturn in the seventh house first of all have a disciplined life sleeping time waking up time schedule and schedule should be there in life and you should be punctual in doing things there should be a set schedule that you are following one should bathe daily and maintain good hygiene one should respect fathers and other elders governmental funds one should do donation in governmental funds one should develop habit of visiting temples right once every week once every 15 days once every month or going on a pilgrimage once every year should be done and if possible one should try to serve in temple cleaning the temple and all of these things serving should be done in temple and long pilgrimage to distant places more than 500 kilometers away at least should be done once a year that will be very good with saturn in the 7th house saturn in the 8th house first of all one should maintain a healthy lifestyle maintaining an healthy lifestyle such as remaining untidy not taking bath daily not keeping much discrimination of cleanliness etc right eating late in night not exercising these things should be avoided whenever people around you are in distress or going through unfortunate times try to help them as much as possible to needy people one should also try to donate money one should not go into fights or disputes with family members at all one should not have ego issues at their workplace have a cordial relationship with everyone at your workplace to the people who are younger than you in your family or in your society try to guide them with the best of your knowledge and don't give them advice which can be either detrimental for them or about which you don't have much experience saturn in the ninth house one should serve temple religious gurus and other religious institutions serving by money or giving your service or uh, you know publicizing about these places or these people will be good one should maintain good relationship with father and other elders grandfathers etc one should give donations to governmental funds one should try to help and work for poor people their upliftment cleanliness spiritual institutions and gurus etc one should take decisions after proper contemplation only otherwise it will be problematic and one should avoid fighting with servants and poor people if there is saturn in the 10th house then first of all you should keep your ambition under control spending money on women wine gambling should be avoided 
one should maintain good relationship with mother and should give gifts to the you know siblings of mother at maternal uncle maternal aunt both don't purchase an old property except for the property that you may inherit it is always better to purchase land and then make property over it keep your home and your surroundings clean respect people of opposite gender and one should upkeep the family dharma that means if you are belonging from a family where no one is drinking alcohol you should also you should also avoid it or if you are belonging from a chatriya family then you should try to do some chatriya work right so upholding the dharma and ethics and morals of the family is a greatest remedy for saturn in the 10th house otherwise it can be problematic saturn in the 11th house one should have self control so control your greed lust desire anger and all of these things one should maintain a discipline and purity of thought one should guide people whenever they can and one should not make statements about things regarding which they don't have much experience or knowledge about family disputes should be avoided under all condition spiritual powers if there are any should not be misused or you should not let people know of spiritual practices which can help them do bad to someone right in fact any type of power should not be misused otherwise it will be problematic physical violence with younger people children etc or with a spouse will be very problematic and one should try to have a clean clear and pure thought thoughts related to spirituality etc one should have and if one is not naturally having such thoughts then by reading of the religious scriptures so such thoughts should be developed with saturn in the 12th house first of all one should spend cautiously wisely right should not be a spend thrift at all spending money on bad things women wine gambling in you know in competition show off etc should be avoided with saturn in the 12th house don't have affair in office at all never don't have affair or relationship with any of your professional colleague as such with family members cordial relationship should be maintained under all cost work should be done by yourself don't you know don't make others do your work whatever is your work even if you are the boss of the company if you come to the office with a bag try to you know take your bag with you only and do not let you or other staff do it for you if possible one should get initiation and remain connected to an spiritual institution should have a guru and should follow the guru this will be very good if you are having saturn in 12th house these things related to saturn you will do and in one one and a half year you will see that slowly slowly your life have changed for better and your condition what it was before you started doing the remedy and what it is now have significantly changed to so do this and feel the change for yourself